we're back. Second session, second day, I suppose. Um, we can start off where we left off with the old disconnect the exhaust. We've got six 17mm bolts that hopefully Ow. won't take too much to crack off. Keep everything together. We got our Angry Birds lunch bags. Put all the nuts in here. Okay. So next up, we got to um, disconnect the CV joints. Quite see in there but the CV joints have got a load of um, M8 uh, triple square bolts. I'm going to get the camera in to show you that end of it, but I'll show you me undoing them. We're going to try something different, we're going to do it for the impact this time. This side should come out easily, that's been out not that long ago. The other side might be a wee bit stiffer. So you can hold the brake. The actual steel by sticking a screwdriver in there. Wrench right through with a so line that up. Well, we might actually just leave the bolts in there just to keep the boot somewhere. Line, but we got two of them. Okay, so over on the driver's side, it's um, on the right hand side, as we call it. It's a much longer drive shaft. Let's see if our impact's going to have enough oomph with all the old, all these extensions on it. Taken this side off before, so I'm going to be a wee bit more careful here. All right, second attempt, we've got the axle held still. One down. Now 
this is our setup for doing that. Not surprised we didn't quite have enough torque to, to crack that. <laughs> You could mark the position of this catch, make sure it shuts properly, I've done it a few times, but uh, always seems to go back okay. So. All we actually want from here is just to disconnect the cable. So um, before we can swing the bumper out, we'll need to take off the um, AC compressor and kind of support that. Uh, but we need a little bit more room, so we're just going to pull the bumper forward. Maybe I didn't put this back together too well last time, but it shouldn't really fall apart quite a bit. I'm not unhappy that it has. disconnected some of the uh, well, stuff from now worse I've just got the indicators there. Right, so we're going to get this power steering pump off and swing it out of the way. Then we can get to the AC pump and undo the lines. Not undo the lines. Move the lines out of the way without putting them under too much strain. There's a 13mm bolt from the looks of it that's going to undo this. That's one of them. That's one on the other side. Got to turn these things the right way for them to come out. Let's 
got to be careful not to put any stress on these power steering lines. All right, next up we can undo the um, AC bracket. One for the AC. Of course, the other AC bolt you get to from the top here. Right, we might just take this um, belt tension out of the way. Just give us a bit more room to get to the old AC bolt. Right, so about the only snag I've come into so far is, um, see that bolt there for the AC compressor? It's kind of jammed up against the, uh, the chassis rail, so we're just going to have to work out a way to get some clearance to sort that out. Uh, now I've undone the um, front engine mount, and hopefully that'll just give it a little, enough room if I check, the, uh, check it out from under the sump and um, hopefully can pull that bolt out. Yeah, it's a proof of concept. It worked. I got the bolt out. I didn't film it. Too hard. I was just trying it out and ended up taking the bolt out. So sorry about that. But all I did was um, take the bolt out the front engine mount and just jack the engine up enough just to pull the, this bolt out. Uh, it didn't seem to stress anything else too much. Um, so yeah, there we go. Just disconnected the alternator wiring, pulled it through. Next, just got to pull the wiring off the um, starter. Now, this is the alternator cable, but there's a couple of other ones. One goes to the AC, and um, one also goes to the alternator. They just link in. A couple of brackets here, so we'll separate these off. Just to make it a bit easier. That's one there, one there. You can pull this whole alternator cable out of the way. Right, here's one of the uh, engine lifting points, and you can see there's a couple of them. Um, there's the intake air temperature sensor that's just above it. Plus a vacuum hose here, so the guide says disconnect these just so you know, just so you can't knacker them when you take it out. And this vacuum hose, put the whole thing off. Well, next up, the uh, transmission shifter cables. the rest of the cable in. There we go. A little clip. Should be able to push this cable out of there. Oh, 
right, so that's pretty much all the hard work. Um, there's only really the engine mount bolts that are holding this in, so I'll get the chains on it and uh, start getting ready to pull it out. So this is the end of episode two. As you can see, did a little bit off camera, nothing too exciting. I'll just put the hoist in there. I've finished connecting the um, the leveller. Got the old lady to come help take the bonnet off, just so we got some more room and um, had a tidy up. So haven't missed much. Might have been a couple of miscellaneous. I think there's an earth cable I took off too, but didn't really miss much in this whole process. Uh, so what's it been like getting to this stage? Well. Pretty straightforward so far. Haven't really needed any special tools. Um, no special tools. Biggest problem has been trying to get all the hoses off. Every single hose was stuck like a banshee, if that's possible. Uh, so I only kind of showed me struggle with one of them, but I struggled with every single one of them. I didn't want to make this movie as long as Ben Hur, so we just um, I cut most of that out. But yeah, all the hoses. Took a couple of minutes each to kind of go around with a pick and then twist off, but yeah, no big deal. Just took a bit of time. Uh, so yeah, we're ready for the big the big pull. Which see if I can work it out. We might do it as a YouTube live thing as well as the main video, just to show you how it's going to work. But all that's holding this engine in at the moment is two bolts in the engine mounts at the back. Uh, the front one's just resting on the top, the box already out from when we did the uh, AC compressor. Uh, so yeah, that's all we need to do is undo the engine mounts. So the cross member at the front that I've already loosened the bolts, just need to take those off and then we're away. Uh, then I just need a spotter to come and help me yank it out. That's what she, that's what she said. Uh, so yeah, we're ready to go. You'll get this video, what's it, Friday night tonight, you, I'll put it up Saturday morning, so you're Friday night for most people in the world. Uh, the engine pull, just trying to work out when I can get my helper here. Might be Saturday night my time, otherwise it'll probably be Tuesday, because... Yeah, work today, work tomorrow, two night shifts, four days off, so it'll be somewhere in my four days off coming up, which is starting Tuesday. Tuesday morning, sometime there, we'll, um, we'll get it sorted. But yeah, anyway, thanks for watching, thanks for the support so far. Uh, once we get this out, we'll get it mounted on the stand and we can have a good look around and see what's going on. Already some good suggestions of what to do. Also a keyboard warrior or two who's deleted their own comments for some reason. I'll put it up here anyway so you can see what it was, but yeah. Cool, thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you very soon in the next one.